Hi, Taos County. This is reporter John Miller with a preview of what you can expect to see in this week's paper. First up in the news, school grades from the Public Education Department were released on Friday. Reporter Jesse Moya takes a look at scores for each school from the previous school year. While most in Taos retain their previous grade, other scores indicate that some schools have their work cut out for them as we move into the new school year. And we continue our coverage of the compound raided near Amalia earlier this month. Child abuse cases filed against the five defendants accused of keeping 11 children in filthy conditions at the property continue to move through the Taos County court system following a controversial ruling to grant the defendants bail last week. In Thursday's paper, we provide new details you won't see anywhere else regarding prior calls at the makeshift dwelling and the reason why much of the compound was demolished last week. Also, reporter Cody Hooks has updates on several major stories in Taos County and the region. Behavioral health provider Tri-County Community Services has all but disintegrated in the past week. The organization announced their doors would be closed by the end of the month, but staff learned on Monday they wouldn't be getting paid and the CEO abruptly resigned. Another behavioral health care provider, Valle del Sol, will likely take over the biggest and most complex programs from Tri-County. In the courts, Cody also reports on the couple stopped by state police in February for not wearing their seat belts. The incident resulted in criminal charges and warrants for the couple's arrest. The pair was arraigned this week in Taos Magistrate Court. In Tempo, our cover story focuses on two of the most iconic events in Taos, the Glam Trash Fashion Show and the Art de Descartes exhibit. Both, uh, both events bring attention to recycling, reuse, and repurposing items that might otherwise end up in a landfill. Watch out for uh, colorful art and artistic outfits in the plaza area Saturday. We're also covering the grand fina finale of this summer's Taos Plaza live season of free concerts. The local appearances of Zydeco master CJ Shiner and jazz artist extraordinaire Lorca, Lorca Hart, plus vocalists at the Fashion Museum. It's all that, plus uh, the last edition of Cinemaphile movie review column. In Lifestyle, Cindy Brown takes us on a hike across the Colorado border on the Cumbres Mountain Trail. Backpacker Bill Kemsley gives the lowdown on a team of volunteers helping the Carson National Forest keep wilderness trails in good repair. Plus, as pinons die off in the Pajarito Plateau, the impact on songbirds is devastating. In sports, sports editor Arsenio Trujillo continues his sneak peek series with previews of Cuesta and Penasco Athletics and Wildcat schedules for football, soccer, and volleyball. Also, Arsenio applies a backhand on the country's fastest growing sport, pickleball. Other stories in this week's Taos News are from our sibling paper, the Santa Fe New Mexican. Results of the Santa Fe Indian Market feature, featuring artists from all over northern New Mexico and Native American women who are taking a stand against violence. In weather, expect some showers on Thursday. Our daily highs are beginning to dip into the 70s with lows in the 40s throughout the week. It also looks like we'll get mainly sunshine and scattered clouds to take us through early next week. And that'll do it for this week's preview. Make sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, visit our website for breaking news updates. Other than that, have a good weekend, Taos.